Hi, how are you today? Today I'm going to be doing a tray uh, using a technique that I saw on Claire's Crafty Corner uh, web YouTube channel. I will leave a link for her channel in the comments below. Taking just some painter's tape and running it across the inside of my mold trying to create a straight line which is not my strong suit <laughs> and even when i take the tape off i notice that it's not straight but that's okay it is going to have a straight line even if it's kind of crooked across the mold so just some painter's tape the next thing i do is i'm taking some of these gold leafing flakes and I'm going to just gently press them down onto the mold. And they stick really well. It's not hard to do. I don't have any pattern or rhyme or reason in mind here. I just want to get some of these flakes down in a random, in a random pattern. Just using my fingers to press them into place. Some of the flakes are kind of layered. Uh, kind of like wafers and you have to just gently pull them apart. These flakes are very delicate, they rip really easy, but they also stick to the surfaces um, really easy, especially to mold surfaces. And then in the rim of the mold, I'm just taking a craft stick just to kind of press it up against the mold. So not a complicated procedure, just a little fiddly with these little flakes that like to flutter everywhere and stick to everything. So you'll see that I get some of the flakes over my tape line, um, but it should peel off right, right off with my tape. And then the stuff that actually ends up under my tape, I'll show you in just a moment here how I get, how I get rid of that. So this is a nice alternative to purposely put flakes in an area that you want on the surface of your piece and not necessarily floating around everywhere in your resin piece. So I thought this was a kind of a cool little idea that she showed and I thought I would give it a try myself. Okay, so I go to remove the tape and all of the tape that's on top of it, or pardon, all the flakes that are on top of it come right off. And I'm trying to straighten up that line of that piece that was underneath the tape, or maybe it fell down as I pulled the tape off. But I just take the tape, burnish it, pull it off, and it makes, makes the line nice and crisp again. So I'm using two colors. I have a, a green color, an unnamed pigment color from Crystal Resin. And then this is just paint mica pigments in the color oceanic blue. So I'm going to try to have color blocks of the green and the blue on the mold. And if they mix together a little bit, that's great, but I don't want them to mix completely. It's a little bit harder with a thinner casting resin to keep your colors separate because the resin is very fluid. Um, that's near to water, whereas like an art resin is thicker and it's a little easier to keep your color separate. But I did let this resin set up for probably about 20 minutes, so it is a little bit thicker than normal. And I'm just randomly going back and forth and pouring the colors in. I do leave a small bit at the top. I'm going to go back and put a solid color layer on the bottom. So while you're hanging out here with me, thanks for watching. And if you would please leave a comment, let me know what you think of my resin piece and also hit the subscribe and notification button. That would really help and I appreciate it. I noticed that my resin was kind of flowing in one direction. My table's not completely level. So I just used a bigger craft stick just to kind of put a shim underneath the mold and, and have it lay a little bit more level couple of spritz of 99% isopropyl alcohol to help with the bubbles. 
So this time I'm just going to use straight oceanic blue. I'm not using any green. I'm just going to pour a thin layer on the bottom. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> thin layer on the bottom of this mold just to top it up. Now one thing I didn't do with this mold was go around with my craft stick and kind of rim the bubbles out when I did the initial pour and I'm going to pay for that here because I notice as I unmold this that I have some micro bubbles and some sharp bits along the edge of the rim of the mold. I'm not using water and soap this time to, un, uh, to demold this because it's a simple shape. There's not any complicated nooks and crannies on this mold, so it's really easy to demold it without without having to do that this time. But I think it turned out great. I kind of wish the blue had, like in the center there, was a little bit more saturated. It mixed with the green quite a bit, but the effects are really kind of cool. And the gold line, like the gold area there, I think is really neat. Yeah. Pretty happy with this piece, aside from a few of the sharp little micro bubbles that are there. You can see me running my finger across it to, to see. They're really sharp when they're like that. But thanks for watching and hanging out. Have a good day. Bye.